Welcome to United for Wildlife's online course in conservation. I'm Nisha Rowan and in this video we'll be looking at what conservation means and some of the reasons why it's important. Let's start with the natural world, our environment. How important is it? Whether we pay much attention to it or not, it's not just important, it's actually essential for our survival. We're a part of the natural world, even though sometimes it doesn't feel like it. As a part of it, we need it to live. Nature provides all the amazing things we take for granted. Air, water, food, even medicine. But many of us are becoming more and more disconnected from the natural world and not realising that it needs to be in good shape to provide us with all of these things. This is simply because, for many of us, we've actually stopped thinking about where our air, food and water comes from. All the things that nature does for us, we can think of as having use or utilitarian value. This is the value that comes from our ability to make use of natural resources. As well as being vital to our survival, nature also provides us with wonder, with awe-inspiring natural beauty. How many of us have heard of, seen on TV, or even been lucky enough to see in real life such natural wonders as the Great Barrier Reef in Australia, Mount Everest in the Himalayas, or the Amazon rainforest in South America. Imagine if these places no longer existed, if we lived in a barren concrete jungle. And what about some of the amazing wildlife that we share our planet with? Tigers, elephants, whales, parrots, plus all of the less well-known but just as special animals like the Chinese giant salamander, a man-sized newt that we'll be hearing more about later on in the course. What if, like the dodo, we only knew about these animals from drawings, old photos, and in the future, from documentaries? Should wildlife have a right to exist simply because it already does? Because we might think it's beautiful or amazing? Or because we might want to leave these gifts for future generations? We can think of these moral and ethical values as being the inherent value of nature. Ultimately, that's what conservation is all about, preserving the natural world, focusing on the life around us, animals, plants, and their natural habitat. Because we place value on it, we need it, or we think it has its own right to exist. But, while we need nature to survive, we're destroying the world around us. We're cutting down trees, clearing forests, driving species to extinction, and producing so much pollution, we're changing the global climate. Our impact has become so catastrophic that we're in the midst of an extinction event happening right now that is on the same scale as the one which wiped out the dinosaurs. Unless we take a stand to ensure the continued existence of all species, including humanity, we're orchestrating our own downfall. We need to be thinking about sustainable development and stable economies because we just don't have enough planet to carry on the way we are now. We're already beginning to run out of fossil fuels and mineral resources. Armed conflicts in the Middle East have already been described as the first of this century's resource wars, and these are predicted to increase in the future. Can you imagine fighting over such basics as food and water? These problems are only going to grow as the world's population continues to increase, and the divide between rich and poor becomes even more pronounced. However, conservation activities are uniquely able to help us try to tackle some of these fundamental problems, the conflicts that arise when you have a clash of values and cultures over the environment. Conservation can't be about dictating to others, or the better off telling those who are poorer how they should be living. Conservation can help us to work together and be inspired together so we can think about new ways to face these problems. Protected areas can benefit both people and wildlife. Did you know that 15% of the world's land area is now protected? Conservationists have developed innovative ways to address conflicts between people over wildlife, such as turning traditional hunters and poachers into protectors and guards. With the support of consumers, people like you, we can help business to ensure their products are more sustainable. We need to do something before it's too late, and we can all do our bit, just like you have in taking this course to find out more. 
There have been some amazing conservation success stories, and we've even been able to bring species such as the Arabian oryx back from the brink. Oryx were once extinct in the wild, but the reintroduction of a captive bred population has resulted in the establishment of a wild population of over a thousand animals. But taking action isn't restricted to conservationists on the front line. Everyone can find out more and be part of the change. Let's stop the disconnect between us and the natural world. In the rest of the course, we'll be hearing about these ideas in more detail. And in this module, we'll look at understanding conservation. For now, join the forum to discuss what conservation means to you. And in the next video, you can find out more about why the variety of life is so important.